Ephesians 6, 17 commands us to take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And then Hebrews 4, 12 talks about how the word of God is a two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. What does that all mean? Well, it's a two-edged sword. The word of God has two opposing sides fused together as one. For instance, you've got commandments and promises. You've got the law and grace. You've got the revelation of faith and the revelation of works. You have a two-edged sword fused together into one word weapon by which we defeat the enemies that we face in this world. What are those enemies? Sin is an enemy to God's people. Satan and his demonic underlings are enemies to God's people. Death itself is an enemy, according to the word of God. But we take the sword of the spirit and we wield it against all the enemies of our soul and we will prevail. Nothing can conquer this sword.